A giant nutcracker collection in Mashpee. Next. Cape Cast. Now, Donna, I'm noticing sort of a nutcracker trend here. What is going on here? Um, I really like nutcrackers, and I really got into collecting them very, very seriously about 20 years ago when I saw the Boston Ballet's Nutcracker. Um, I have been collecting them since 1971, so this is the 40th year. Uh, but the last 20 years, I've been a little more aggressive than just buying one or two a year. I save all my change from returning bottles and cans. <laughs> And that's what I use to fund the Nutcrackers. Wow, so how many of these do you have, do you think? Th over 300. So, Donna, what is it about Nutcrackers that makes your heart sing? Well, they remind me of Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite holiday. But, you know, they're sort of fierce. You see the teeth, you know, they have some power to, to crack yeah. things. And they seem to be maybe uh, a little stern. Does it ever frighten you to have this many of these? No, as a matter of fact, in German thoughts, in Germany, uh, the Nutcracker protects the house. So, From like an attack of walnuts? Or mice. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, this one is by far my favorite. This one speaks to me. Tell us about this little <laughs> this feller. This is a sushi chef. I was at the Christmas tree shop in Falmouth, and the guy said, Right now, for the next 10 minutes, if you get up here, you can have this nutcracker for half price at $100. And I knocked over a whole ton of little old ladies. <laughs> Dashing to make it to the front. <laughs> What I'm looking for is hopefully next year someplace on the Upper Cape, because I live on the Upper Cape, where I can display them all so the children can see them. I'd love to have the school children, but I'm not having the entire Casey Coombs school march through my house. Oh, come on, Donna. Where's your Christmas spirit? <laughs> you know how many candy canes I'd have to give out? Yeah. 